Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 1st August 2023, the Ministry of Defense has released its Make One Project list in which long-range land attack cruise missile for Indian Air Force is included. The Indian Air Force is moving ahead with a case for indigenous design, development and manufacturing of long-range land attack cruise missile through private defense production industry. The LRLSEM would be a surface launched cruise missile and it will have required precision to take the warhead to enemy's territory and low probability of detection and interception. The Air Force wants a long range that is nearly 1000 plus kilometer range of cruise missile with a speed of up to 0.8 Mach and low cost LRLSEM to be developed. As per the Indian Air Force requirement, the missile must have independent navigation, multiple types of warheads and suited for land targets. The missile should have sensor capabilities like digital scene matching area correlator, data link, IRNSS, etc. It could have features like multi-point navigation, altitude variation in attack profile, lotter or target change, etc. So this was the case which has been put forward by Indian Air Force for LRLSEM. Now if you would have noticed, it talks about indigenous design which no private firm is capable of doing at the moment. They would need technology developed by DIDO from ITCM project. Also the requirement put forward by Indian Air Force matches very close to the nearby cruise missile and the ITCM project. This raises another question if ITCM project is complete or near completion. The DIDO has launched ITCM technical demonstration program for the 100% indigenization of long range subsonic cruise missile and the most important component of this missile is indigenously developed STFE that is small turbofan manic engine. Manik is an expandable STFE engine with 450 kgf thrust for powering subsonic drones and cruise missile. To begin with, the engine will power ITCM. The STFE engine success will clear the path for the LRLSEM for land, air and sea domains. The DRDO's Director General of Aeronautical System, MZ Siddiqui, has said that during a trial of ITCM in 2021, the indigenous STF engine was used to power the ITC missile and the missile was cruising at an altitude of 3 km at a speed of 0.75 Mach. He affirmed that DIDO is at the cusp of delivering the product with respect to propulsion. The recent trial of the ITCM was conducted on 21st February 2023 with a small turbofan engine and upgraded radio frequency seeker and it was successful. On 1st August 2023, the Ministry of Defense has given its approval in principle for two projects which includes high altitude pseudo satellites and long range land attack crew missile for the Indian Air Force. As ITCM is a technical demonstrator, its operational ready variant is being called as LRLSCM. The missile will be developed to launch from land, air and water. It will have similar dimension than Nirve, but will have improved navigation capability in addition to upgrade seeker and indigenous STFE engine. The missile is expected to have range of 1500 km and can be launched from Brahmos Universal Vertical Launcher Module which is installed in all frontline warships of Indian Navy. The Indian Air Force will be able to launch this missile from Su-30 MKI which will give it a huge stand of capability and destroy strategic targets deep inside the enemy's territory. The underwing pylon of Su-30 MKI, which is used for launching the BrahMos A missile, can be used to launch the air variant of LRLSEM with some modification. A truck-mounted LRLSEM for Army and a submarine version of the missile is also planned. DIDU has planned testing of LRLSEM missile around the mid of 2024. The induction of missile is expected to be around 2027-28. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. 
If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.